What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Like a Boss. Here we teach you how to micro macro and play StarCraft 2 like a boss. Today we're going to be taking a look at Blink Stalkers. And there's a few things we're going to want to look at today. Uh, the different variations and things you can do with Blink. Now essentially there's three different things that you can going to be using Blink for. First of all, it's going to be blinking defensively, blinking offensively, and then blinking for mobility. Uh, those are the three things we're going to be focusing on, so we'll just go ahead and get things started right now. Alright, so I've got my first control group right here. You can see I've got two rows filled with stalkers, and I'm going to be grabbing a bunch of roaches. Now, what we're going to be focusing on, let me get those roaches some speed here as well. There's a whole lot of overlords. There we go, Roach Speed, fantastic. So what we're going to be looking at first and foremost is blinking defensively. So what we're going to be taking a look at is what happens when I throw these amount of stalkers, two rows, into these amount of roaches, two and a half rows. And we'll just see the outcome of this battle right here. And this is just a normal kind of A move. Hey, I'm going to throw my roaches into your stalkers. You can see with that Roach Speed, um, just from the basic move attack, it's going to give the roaches the, that better concave. And uh, what you actually can see here is the roaches will prevail in this particular battle. The roaches moving on in, and the poor, poor stalkers are going to die. Roaches do win the game, and this is how the engagement will look with zero micro whatsoever. You can see right now, I have got myself one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight roaches are left after that battle. We're going to show you how that can have a different outcome when you blink defensively, and this is going to be what's known as stalker peeling. And the idea, of course, is what, what's going to happen is you're going to be taking stalkers and the ones that are low, losing their shield or low on health, are going to be blinked to the background. And this is going to be a drastically different outcome. So you can see right now, again, I've got two and a half rows of roaches as opposed to these two rows of stalkers. And let's take a look at this with some blink micro here. So you always want to just be paying attention to the front line and any stalkers that get low need to be blinked back immediately. Now the idea is that what's gonna happen is the stalkers in the front are nice and fresh and, and they uh, have full shields. And what happens is when you pull the guys with the low health to the back, it lets them recharge their shields. And that's basically the idea, that's the basic mentality. And look at that right there. The exact same number of stalkers versus the exact same number of roaches and this time stalkers came out on top and the only difference between those two battles was the micro all right so just going to go over that one more time again moving on in with my stalkers and the idea of course is to pull back any low health ones and you just want to be able to grab them and blink them back and that is that just using the blink hotkey for me that's b you may have it bound to something else you may use grid whatever it is you just want to make sure you're pulling all the stalkers with low health back and you can see how much of a difference that makes it's absolutely huge again the same amount of stalkers versus the same amount of roaches but look at how different of an outcome we have here uh, just absolutely ridiculous how much can survive if you just are able to blink defensively all right so we just took a look at how to blink defensively now we're going to be taking a look at how to blink offensively first we're going to look at this scenario we've got three marauders two marines and two tanks and let's see what happens when we just a move our guys right on into there not paying attention to micro whatsoever you're going to see the marauders and marines used to make a little buffer for the tanks and allow them to shoot freely and as a result taking heavy heavy losses to our stalkers and um, that of course is a very unfortunate situation for you you're going to see what happens is they end up prevailing here and that is with the, just a regular a move now let's take a look at what happens when we use some offensive blinking into that scenario all right guys so here we go same scenario here and this time we're going to look at how it can look drastically different if you're blinking offensively so i'm moving in with my stalkers blinking on top of everything and then target firing the largest threat which is these tanks and then going from there So as you can see, target firing those tanks, taking them down quickly, that allowed me to, as such, right after that, just mop up the rest. Also going to be using some of that peeling back defensive uh, blink micro, and uh, you can see drastically different outcome with the exact same number of units. All that really made the difference in those battles was the micro, making sure again I blinked on top, took out the largest threat, and then now this is only not going. This isn't going to only be used against tanks. You can also use this against things like brood lords, colossus, void rays, anything that's a large threat. Uh, being able to blink offensively under and on top of something and target fire it out is going to put your stalkers in the upper hand position and uh, as such allow you to survive a situation that you wouldn't otherwise. 
All right, so one more look at that same scenario. Again, we've got that one row of stalkers versus those two tanks, three marauders and two marines. And again, the idea is going to blink on top of the threat, target fire it down, and then go from there. So I'm going to target fire down the tanks, and then I'm able to take care of the marines and marauders pretty much no problem. And then from there, we can also try to do that uh, stalker peeling that we looked at initially. And look at how drastically different that outcome is. I am not only taking out all of his forces, but I'm also going to have three stalkers remaining. So pretty, pretty big deal. Pretty, pretty big difference between the two. Again, it really all comes down to micro. Uh, now, that was how we micro against and towards something, the offensive and defensive micro. Now let's just go ahead and take a look at some mobility micro. So one really awesome trick when it comes to blink stalkers is that you can move up and down ledges. Now obviously you need vision to the high ground, so we're going to be bringing our observer over here. But a problem that some players run into is that if you try to blink a large group of stalkers onto a high ground, some of them miss. And as you can see here, having stalkers on this low ground could mean the difference between life and death. If we were running away from a group forcing us and, uh, and trying to chase us down, these stalkers would likely be dead because their blink was on cooldown right after they landed. And uh, that really puts them in a bad situation. So what we're going to take a look at is how to properly blink onto the high ground or low ground and make sure that all of your stalkers stay together. Now we're going to be using the Shift Q command, and Shift Qing just allows you to do different things um, back to back. So you can see here, I hold down Shift, and I can queue up different movements. And what's going to happen is, while holding down Shift and right clicking on the ground, he's going to queue up all the way around in a circle. Now, many people know how to do that, but many people don't know how to do that with blank stalkers. And the idea, of course, is I'm going to move my stalkers, right click on the ground, hold down Shift, and then do the blink movement with hitting B and then clicking on the high ground and see what you're going to see here. I'll do it with one first. So I'm going to right click on the ground, hold down shift, hit B and then click on the high ground and look at that blinking right to the high ground. Now how does that look with an entire group? Now again, remember what happens if we try to move a large group and we blink them, sometimes they're left with some guys in the low ground. So that will look different if we use that shift command and we'll take a look at that right now. It's going to be grabbing all of my stalkers, right clicking on the ground, holding shift, hitting B, and then clicking on the high ground. And look at that. All of the stalkers make it up onto the high ground. Uh, that, of course, can be done for the uh, other end of that, which is blinking to the low ground. So I'm going to right click on the ground, hold down shift, hit B, and then click on the low ground. And they're all going to make sure they get down perfectly safe as one big happy family. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode of Like a Boss. Again, we're taking a look at how to do different micro and macro tricks. Today we took a look at Blink Stalkers, how to do it defensively, a stalker peeling, offensively, landing on top of a target and target firing down the most threatening thing, and then mobility using that Shift Q command. And again, this Like a Boss series is going to continue up. We're going to be trying to showing you guys all micro, macro, and gameplay tricks that professional players use to play Like a Boss. So as always guys, this has been Force and Force Strategy Gaming. Make sure if you enjoy the content, you're subscribed to the channel. Keep watching and keep owning.